almost chewing on parts of your home may seem like a minor inconvenience, but did you know that they could also cause a roof leak if they chew on certain parts of your roof? Today, we're gonna to be discussing animals chewing on your home, and more importantly, how to prevent it. Hi, I'm Bill Reagan with Bill Reagan Roofing Company. I've been in the construction industry for over 40 years and started Bill Reagan Roofing Company over 30 years ago. At Bill Reagan Roofing Company, we want to ensure that our customers are well informed so they can make the correct buying decision. Today, we're going to be talking about animal prevention. We're going to be talking about what kind of damage that they can cause, and we're also going to be talking about some options on ways that you can prevent animal damage. What kind of damage can critters cause? Two of the main problems that animals cause uh, on your roof is they can cause leaks and it also can create a biohazard in your attic. When animals uh, are trying to find their warm space for the winter, they'll chew through either the back of your gutter, they'll chew through where a soffit and fascia meet a roof line, like where a gutter comes back to a roof line at that, that angle. That's the two most common places that they try to get in. Once they're in, that's when the biohazard is, is created. If they've gotten in your attic and spent any time whatsoever, their droppings are gonna create a biohazard and you're gonna wanna get those removed as soon as you get the point of entry found and corrected. When a critter tries to get in your attic, they're gonna chew a hole in something and that's gonna let the water in, which is gonna create a leak. You're either gonna see it either on an outside wall, that means they've tried to come in near your gutters, or you could see it on a ceiling above where a roof line dies into another roof. So you, you would probably more than likely see it either on a wall or on your ceiling uh, in the form of a spot, or see water either running down the walls. What are the options to prevent animal damage? The two options that we use to prevent animals from getting in your attic, mainly squirrels or uh, raccoons or even birds, is we use a 26 gauge steel, we call it a gutter apron, and what it does, it comes down the roof four inches, two inches into the gutter, and then it's screwed to the fascia board in the back side of the gutter with screws with washers and we screw it every two inches. Normally a squirrel or a raccoon, when they try to chew through the steel, it's too tough for them to get through so they'll move on uh, maybe to the house next door or a house down the street that's got aluminum that they can chew through. Another thing that we do is we put powder coated steel screens over the top of gutters that tuck up under the shingles and rest on the drip edge and then they're fastened to the top of the gutters and that prevents animals from getting in your gutters and trying to get through. Now once we find out where they're trying to get through, like if they're trying to get in where a soffit dies into a roof line, then what we do with that is cover that with 26 gauge steel also and if we can't match the color of the soffit then we'll do it with white and just paint it. But 26 gauge steel and powder coated steel gutter screens are our two most valuable options on preventing animals from getting in your attic. In order to ensure that you hire a great roofing contractor, click on the link in our description and download our questions to ask your roofing contractor. If you hadn't seen the other videos in our library, go back and watch them or if you want to learn even more, go to our learning center on our website. That's all for this video, and I hope you're feeling more informed. I'm Bill Reagan, and remember, if a customer of mine has a problem, then I have a problem.